how are we emotionally feeling secured in our moment-to-moment self-discovery process and by looking at our sun sign, moon as well as rising sign. The rising sign is the sun rising from the horizon. So in the birth chart, at the horizon, ascendant is uh, what is the sign that is arising. The time that we are born, it depends on the, our uh, birth time. And this is how we are discovering about ourselves, like the sun rising, a new day, a new beginning, as a calling from within, a desire that is arising within you, that is natural to you. And that is, um, you are drawn to discover something new about yourself. So for example, I have a Leo rising. I'm drawn to have a desire to, dis- to express. And when I don't have the opportunity to express, I can manifest is like I need attention, I want to be seen and I can get attention by um, I I need to feel special, Uh, I need to feel loved. However, when I can self-actualize, creatively express myself, I have outlet, I'm able to um, uh, channel my energy to creatively self-express and I feel very fulfilled through this. However, the rising sign is where we are not very comfortable is stepping into the unknown. So it requires us to be more aware, more self-aware and also confronting our fear. And by connecting to your rising sign in your birth chart, you can validate what your uh, inner desire is, how you want to expand, move forward to meet the new in the horizon that is calling to you. The desire that is instinctually arising from us, we know that through this step, it is going to expand my awareness. It's going to help me expand more, to grow, to evolve. It's a personal growth um, instinct, desire to grow. And then we look at, um, as well as the sun sign, how we are designed to shine brightly. And my sun sign is also in Leo. And Leo is also my um, rising sign. So uh, therefore, I'm here uh, expressing myself because this is the path of my self-discovery. Every moment that I'm expressing myself, especially in a spontaneous way, uh, I'm discovering new about me, about myself. So it's a very fresh, new experiences. That is um, uh, inner, inner experiences. So what is your path to self-discovery? Where is your sun sign? Where is your rising sign? And also, how do I feel emotionally secured to move into the unknown? Is the moon sign. My moon sign is in the 8th house in Pisces. So 8th house is confronting fear. It's merging with what I love so that I can express more freely. And the Pisces is the dissolving of the old. And the dissolving theme is always a recurring theme in my life. And when I understand that, it's because I'm seeking an inner self-understanding and seeking the inner journey. Then I appreciate the dissolving theme in my life is so that I can uh, move on to a new and this process of dissolving beginning uh, is in that uh, process that I'm going through, which I learn about myself. So it's an inner journey of self-discovery. Uh, what is your moon sign? How you internally feel secure emotionally to step into the unknown and every day consistently practice the new action. And over consistent practice, we become uh, or we develop into the new version of ourselves and moving away from the old self. So this is how we evolve, how we are practicing um, new action every day is towards um, feeling more and more secure in a new action. <clears throat> and so that's our moon sign, our emotional body, how we feel emotionally secured in the new identity that we are creating for ourselves by daily practice. And that's how we change, that's how we grow, uh, we keep practicing the new action consistently so we create a new identity and so what is your sun sign moon sign and your rising sign by getting to know yourself how you are discovering more about yourself each day your personal path into your inner self discovery and um, i'm available for one-to-one consultation and i'm also conducting workshops for a small group so you can contact me in the email below for Uh, getting to know yourself, your path to self-discovery.